Hi, I'm going to show you how to answer an A-level question on DNA replication. Scientists investigated the function of a eukaryotic cell protein called cyclin A. This protein is thought to be involved with the binding of one of the enzymes required at the start of DNA replication. The scientists treated cultures of cells in the following four ways. So firstly they left the cells untreated, then they added an antibody that binds specifically to cyclin A, then they added RNA that prevents translation of cyclin A, and finally they added RNA that prevents cyclin A translation and also added the cyclin A protein itself. Here are the results. The question asks us to explain these data. Click pause here and try and come up with a response for yourself before I tell you my thoughts. It really is the best way to get the most benefit out of this video. Right then, how do we answer this question? We first need to understand DNA replication as a process within the cell cycle. Let's look at a cell's cycle to see where DNA replication fits in. A growing cell will enter DNA synthesis phase midway through its cycle. Once the DNA is replicated, the cell will grow some more before eventually dividing. DNA replication is said to be semi-conservative. This means each strand in the DNA double helix acts as a template for the synthesis of a new complementary strand. Semi-conservative replication then starts with one DNA molecule and produces two daughter molecules. Each daughter DNA molecule has one new strand and one old original strand. There are three main enzymes involved in the initial stages of DNA replication and we can see them here in this diagram. DNA helicase breaks hydrogen bonds between the DNA strands to open up a replication fork. Primase adds short complementary primer sequences to the exposed single stranded DNA forks and DNA polymerase joins new complementary DNA nucleotides to these primer sequences in order to produce new second strands of DNA. We're told that cyclin A is thought to be involved in binding one of these enzymes to the DNA. We don't know which one, we don't know how it helps, we don't know where it comes from, and we don't know anything other than the fact that without it, DNA replication probably won't happen. So now we can start to explain the data given to us in the question. With no treatment at all, 91% of cells show DNA replication. This is our base level. Not all cells divide, so therefore not all will replicate their DNA. Adding an antibody which binds to cyclin A dramatically reduces the number of cells undergoing DNA replication. The antibody prevents cyclin A from helping the enzymes to start DNA replication. The added RNA could prevent the translation of cyclin A by binding to its messenger RNA. This will reduce the cyclin A made by the cell. The number of replicating cells in this case reduces to 10%. By adding cyclin A to the cells in condition E, they can start DNA replication again, so the numbers rise back up to control level. Cells in conditions D and E must still have some cyclin A in them, these cells may just contain a different cyclin A allele, for example, or they may have some residual cyclin A left over from previous translations. So that's it for now. Make sure you click the thumbs up and subscribe for future videos like these. Follow me on various social media for latest news or revision tips. Good luck with your revision and see you again soon. Bye bye.